Hello friends, this is Just Jamie. Welcome back to my channel. How's it going guys? If you're just watching me for the first time, welcome to the family. If you're one of my older subscribers, thank you so much for coming back, spending some time with me and supporting my channel. You guys are literally the best. Don't mind this crazy hair. This is literally four day hair. We're not trying to wash our hair every day. We were trying to keep our routine minimal. The less time, the better. I finessed my hair just a little bit because I like you guys, obviously. <laughs> but like, she looks a little bit crazy. Yep. We're looking like a mop, but we still shining. We still shining. Shining, shining, shining. So you know what? No, no, no. I don't wanna hear it. We're gonna keep the negativity at the door, honey. This is, this is fine. So long story short, I did wanna get this video up the other day. I ran out of storage. It's fine, we figured it out. I'm wearing red again. I feel like Bite Beauty is all about red. It's a Canadian brand, so I wanna look Canadian, love, wanna support, represent, inspire, honey. So, I know it looks like I'm wearing the same top, but I swear it's not. I feel like everything I own basically looks the same. <laughs> do you guys do that? Today, as you can tell by the title, today I'm gonna to be talking about the Bite Beauty Power Move Creamy Lip Crayons. I'm so excited. I love lip products, big lips, little lips, all kinds of lips. We love lips. I'm gonna be reminding you guys that I'm gonna be swatching 20 shades, yes, 20 shades, and my lips are gonna be dry, parched, crackly. This is because I love you guys, and I want you guys to come back, and subscribe, and watch, and support. So I'm gonna be doing this for you guys. It's gonna be painful, but you know what? It's gonna be fun. I also wanted to give a little bit of a... Thank you so much. Okay, so enough with my rambling. Let's get on with the video and see some lip swatches, which is what you guys came here for. <laughs> I love this color. I mean, we can work with this. Honey, work. She kind of cute. Work it, work it, work it, girl. What should I eat later? Hmm. Hello. I'm your brown auntie. Mm -hmm. 
hope you guys enjoyed that. That was literally 20 shades. My lips are literally done. I'm not doing nothing with my lips. Nope. She is out of commission. We gotta give her some TLC, some smooches, moisturization to chill. We're not doing nothing with my lips. Anyways, I'm really glad I swatched all of those for you guys. That way you can kind of see what color would work best for you. Obviously, it depends on your skin tone. If you're deep, mm. if you're chocolate, honey, caramel, some vanilla. Obviously, not all the shades are going to look good on me, and I know that. But I do have to say, I really did like the formula. Bite Beauty does describe this formula as a comfy matte lip crayon for creamy, bold color that can keep up with you. Ooh, I like that. Precise, slim design for no stress application. I like that, especially the no stress. We don't need stress, especially what's happening. I don't wear a lot of matte products, but I do find that these lip products were super comfortable on my lips. It doesn't honestly feel like a matte lipstick or a lip crayon. It feels like, like a creamy, satiny lipstick, lip crayons are not as matte. They are a bit more moisturizing than typical mattes that, you know, I've worn before. I definitely have some favorite shades that I like. Calvados, Hard Cider, Negroni, and Glacé. So yes, my final thoughts, I would definitely recommend these lip crayons uh, for somebody looking for a comfortable matte to wear. They do come off on your lips, as you can see. If you're kissing somebody, if you're making out with somebody, you're having that good, good time, it's gonna come off. <laughs> what I also like about these colors is that you could totally mix and match, as in you can, you know, you can wear a couple shades together. So right now, I am wearing the color Hard Cider um, on the outer parts of my lips and then I'm wearing Cavados in the inner part. Wow, 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 wow. But um, yeah, I totally love these lip crayons and I will definitely be wearing a um, few of those shades on the daily. Also, I do wanna give you guys an update on the Change Maker Complexions by by Beauty that I used in my previous video. So I'm wearing the primer, foundation, and powder today in the video just to show you guys how I like it. On my last video, I wore the foundation quite light. Um, I only had one layer and I basically blended it out because I do like my finish to be a bit more on the natural side. Today I wore the foundation in two layers to see how I like the coverage. In case you know, I'm going to the club. I don't go to the club. Or if I was going out with my man, dinner with friends, a bit more coverage. So I really do think that my skin looks amazing. But it doesn't look cakey, doesn't look dry. Again, I typically wouldn't wear my foundation in two layers and as heavily just because I do like seeing my natural skin shining through. But I do like the finish that this foundation gave me with two layers um, if I wanted a bit more coverage. Now, what I did notice though is that, so I was a bad girl last night. <laughs> no. Well, just never mind. I was lazy and I didn't wash my face in the morning and I didn't wash my face at night. So my face was really dry today. Like it felt so tight. Like we don't want to be that tight <laughs> on our faces. Okay. Anyway, and I noticed I had a few more breakouts. So guys, if you can do anything, please wash your face at night and every morning and just make sure that you really do hydrate and take care of your skin because then you're gonna wake up looking like a prune and we don't wanna be prunes. The foundation I feel like could have performed a little bit better if my skin was hydrated. I think it still looks, like I said, amazing. It was a little bit more difficult to apply the foundation just because my skin was dry and this foundation is more on the matte side. So it was a little bit harder to blend out. So again, this is completely my fault. Like what else was I doing? I could have totally washed my face, but I didn't. So it's not the foundation's fault. It's completely my fault. Trying to look like a prune. Why though? So that's it guys. 
Thank you for tuning in today. I really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day and watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share any feedback that you guys might have. Thank you for supporting my channel. It means a lot to me. If you wanna keep on talking, my Instagram is just Jamie P and I will catch you guys later. Bye. Okay, calm down.